Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first Patch Tuesday security B-release update rolling out for Windows 11 24H2. Since the annual feature updates public release, as we have been talking about on the channel last week on the 1st of October. Now, the update for Windows 11 24H2 is KB5044284 and was rolled out on the 8th of October, which once again was late yesterday in my region. And because the update is compulsory and mandatory, if you have already upgraded to 24H2, just a quick look at the build up update that this update will bring. So if we head over to Winver, the About Windows menu for Windows 11 version 24H2 after the update has been applied, OS Build is sitting on 26,100.2033. Now the updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month address security issues for Windows. And for Windows 11 24H2, the update fixes 67 vulnerabilities. One of those is critical, which is listed as CVE 20244358.2, Remote Desktop Protocol Server Remote Code Execution Vulnerability. So that's a high, that's a highest ranked vulnerability, a critical. So that's been patched. And over and above that critical, we also get 65 important. So 67 vulnerabilities have been patched in total with this be release patch Tuesday security update. Now, as always, the security update will include the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out for 24H2 towards the end of September, beginning of October, depending on your region, which was KB5043178. So if you didn't install this update, those fixes and improvements will be carried over now into this update. And I did post a whole video on 5043178 which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like more info. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. And some of these are new features, seven in total, have an overlap between 22H2 and 23H2. Now the first one is the update moves the sign out option onto the account manager when you open the start menu, where previously that was hidden behind the three dot menu, which is a small little significant change, as I would say on the channel. And if you want to share files, you can do that now from your search. So if we just head over to a local file, you can now share local files directly from the search results that appear in the search box on the taskbar. I also think is quite nice and um, just bringing some sharing improvements and for the next one we're going to head over to our system page power and battery and energy recommendations now um, it also includes new energy a new energy recommendation to turn off high dynamic range so that's if you have the relevant hardware i don't but if you have a hdr a monitor you will see a setting um, a new energy recommendation to turn your HDR monitor off on this page as well. And for this, we're just going to head over to a screenshot. And we have spoken about this quite in depth, but um, the lock screen media controls now show in the lower part of the lock screen, where previously they were yet to uh, the right hand side. And we get some battery life improvements. Um, go check that video out if you want more information. And then we get mouse settings page improvements. And for this one, we're going to head over to our Bluetooth and devices, our mouse uh, settings page. And yeah, you'll see you can now enable enhanced pointer precision from this page, which previously was unavailable. Now, I personally don't like that setting on. I prefer it to be off. But this is a legacy control panel setting that was pre previously only available in the control panel with the mouse properties menu and now has been moved into the mouse uh, settings page in the more modern settings app and then yeah we get a new scrolling direction setting which i think is nice because you can have the option to down motion scrolls down and down motion scrolls up so i think that's a nice little move and that's a new little setting as well and then just to mention this uh, next one you can now 
uh, manage your Copilot Pro subscription in these settings. If you have a Copilot Pro subscription, I don't. And over and above that, it also fixes six bugs and those improvements and fixes are taking place under the hood and at this stage though um, i'm not noticing that it has fixed any of the known issues that we have been talking about since 24h2 rolled out and i'll leave a video down below and in the end screen regarding some of the known issues that we have with 24h2 um, and hopefully by the end of this month microsoft will start patching those with our optional bug fix C release update that will roll out for 24H2 near the end of this month but haven't been addressed with this update um, but go check those videos out if you'd like to know more about um, those known issues and then just one little fix I almost forgot to mention is that they have rolled out a fix where they fixed remote desktop gateway service apparently the service was stopping to respond and this occurred when a service uses remote procedure calls RPC over HTTP and because of this the clients that are using the service disconnect so that's a fix for the remote desktop gateway service that has also been bundled into this update so guys that's more or less what's new in our first patch Tuesday B release security update KB5044284 for Windows 11 24H2 so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one